Hey guys, before we start the video, I want to give out a shout out to Emu or Rainbow Emu Weeps. She is most known for her DDR and Fake Ground Order shirts, but she actually had a shop where she sells a bunch of awesome merch. Fake Ground Order Chibi Charms, jackets, DDR shirts, Taiko no Tatsujin shirts. You also have some stickers. You also have like Kaguya Sama stickers and keychains, original keychains, DDR keychains. It's a really, really cool place to buy some awesome merch. So if you guys want to check out her website, link is down below. She also has a Twitch channel, which I'll also leave a link down below. She draws, she plays Fake Ground Order, and also plays some rhythm games. So definitely check her out. Now, on to the video. Hey everyone, welcome to Kita News. We got some big news for the Fate series. The Nintendo Switch game Mainichi Emiya-san Shin no Kyo no Gohan unfortunately still has no release date, but during the Aniplex Online Fest on the Fate Anime Project Online Gathering program, it was announced that an English version of the game is coming. Now you guys can actually read the ingredients. So there is no release date yet, but most likely it's going to come out after the JP version because the JP version uh, got delayed because of COVID. So I'm assuming after summer, the JP version will come out and then a couple months later, uh, they're going to have to translate the game and stuff like that. And then they'll bring in the English version. If you watch the live stream, then you know that a bunch of voice actors were on that stream. They were talking about how they prepared for their line, their favorite scenes, and so much more. Tsuruoka Satoshi-san, who is the voice actor for Gilderith and Arash, has confirmed that recording sessions for Fake Grand Order Camelot films are currently happening, so we just have to wait a little longer for Camelot to release in theaters in Japan. Shimazaki Nobunaga confirmed that Fate Grand Order Solomon is currently in production. I'm not sure if he uh, said anything about recording sessions that are happening right now or how much progress they have on Solomon, but we do know that it's in production. Uh, most likely it's going to come out next year, if not uh, 2022, because you know COVID is still a thing. But uh, it's a lot better in Japan than America. America is just ridiculous right now when it comes to COVID. But um, I'm I'm sure they're trying their hardest, and uh, I'm sure they're limited on staff as well because you know they're trying to protect everyone from COVID. So uh, Sodomon is currently in production, which is a good sign. So really excited for that. So this is not a confirmation, but Shimazaki Nobunaga and Kawasumi Ayako, voice actress for uh, Sabers and of course Fo, uh, said. They want to see a Fate Route remake with today's technology. So basically what they're saying is UFO table, it's time, make the Fate Route and make it better than Studio Dean's Fate Stay Night from, I don't remember, 2006, 4? I can't remember what year it was released. But basically, yes, like we want to see the Fate Route remade with today's technology from UFO table. Please make it happen. Well, that's basically about it when it comes to the news, but later today there's going to be the Caldea Broadcasting Station US Branch Volume 9, and this is where they're going to be talking about the third anniversary. It's going to be live on YouTube, and it's going to be at 8 p.m. PST. Uh, most likely, they'll talk about, um, you know, the command codes, the ports and all this other stuff uh, celebrating the third anniversary. So, of course, I will be live on Twitch if you guys want to come on by my link is down below so let's watch it together so anyways thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one laters